On April 15, 1945, the British 11th Armored Division liberated Bergen-Belsen, one of the worst Nazi concentration camps, which epitomized the true bestiality and horrors of the Nazi regime and its death camps. They found 13,000 dead bodies, almost 60,000 sick and starving prisoners, and male and female Nazi SS guards who were responsible for these atrocities. One of them was Hertha Botha. Hertha Botha was born on January 3, 1921, in Germany. Before she started her criminal career in concentration camps, she was a housewife and then worked as an assistant nurse in the hospital from August 1940 to September 1942. In October 1942, she became a guard at Ravensbrück concentration camp, where she was also trained, most probably how to beat the prisoners, and then she was placed to Stutthof concentration camp, where she stayed until the end of July 1944. Bota's exceptional cruelty and brutality earned her the nickname Sadist of Stutthof. She was six foot three, or 1.91 meters high, and she used her physical power to beat and torture the inmates. She was responsible for a troop of wood commandos, consisting of 60 Russian female prisoners cutting wood into smaller parts. She claimed they had been in quite a good state of health, even though they had almost nothing to eat. She had no mercy with the inmates. On one occasion, she was seen using her gun to shoot two female prisoners carrying a food container. After the war, she claimed she had no gun at all. On another occasion, she was seen taking a piece of wood and beating a Hungarian Jewish girl for no reason so savagely that the poor girl died. When she was later asked during the trial if Stutthof was a rough camp during her two-year stay, she immediately responded, no. In July 1944, she left Stutthof and moved to Bromberg concentration camp. In January 1945, the camp was evacuated, and for four weeks they marched to Oranienburg, and from there to Bergen-Belsen concentration camp, where they arrived in late February 1945. In Belsen, she became even more sadistic and beat poor female prisoners regularly and hard. On one occasion, Bota saw a starving prisoner taking a turnip peeling from the kitchen. Bota took a stick or a piece of wood and started to beat the poor female prisoner with all her strength. When the inmate begged her to stop, Bota shouted she would beat her to death and kept beating the poor woman until she was true to her word. She had no remorse and only ordered other prisoners to carry the body away from her sight. On another occasion, she beat a naked woman in the bells in bathhouse with a rubber truncheon. Bathhouses were designed to disinfect 400 prisoners and their clothing every day. Steam flowing out of the floor killed lice to protect the prisoners from typhus and other diseases. Because disinfecting clothing took longer than disinfecting prisoners, the poor prisoners had to wait wet and naked outside in cold weather. After Bergen-Belsen's liberation, Bota was captured with her fellow criminal colleagues by the British forces, and she was forced to help bury the dead bodies in mass graves. Many years later, she recalled that she was frightened of contracting typhus, as there was a typhus epidemic in the camp and they were not allowed to wear gloves while carrying the corpses. Bota also recounts that she had to carry so many corpses that it caused her back pain. At the Belzen trial, Hertha Bota refused to confess to any of the charges brought against her, and when asked about her cruelty, she only admitted to having slapped prisoners' faces with her hand when they did not obey or stole something. When asked about the dead bodies lying about the camp at the time of liberation, she surprisingly replied that she had never seen dead bodies lying around the camp. If this were true, she would be the only one. Hertha Bota was found guilty and sentenced to 10 years in prison. Unlike Joanna Borman or Elizabeth Folkenroth, she avoided the death sentence and, in the end, spent only a few years in prison until she was released in December 1951. She married changed her name to Hertha Lange, and lived in Germany as a free woman. Shortly before her death, she was asked about her decision to become a concentration camp guard. She simply responded she had not made a mistake becoming a guard, otherwise she would have been put into the concentration camp herself. Bota died in March 2000 at the age of 79. There were no tears shed for Hertha Bota. 
Thanks for watching the World History Channel, and don't miss our next videos. Click the subscribe button now for more interesting clips. Give us a like, and see you in the following episode.